Metal Monthly, Metal Monthly, it's metal time in the city. Metal Monthly, all new metal, no new metal, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this bit's going on too long. Howdy, banger pals. Blaine Smith joining you for a, uh, a cozy, warm uh, December 2023 Metal Monthly. <sighs> the holiday season. I hope you're by a roaring fire. Uh, if you're new here, you picked a weird one to come in on. You're probably very confused. Uh, this is Banger's monthly look at what's coming out in metal releases. I find you the five best metal albums coming out every single month from the underground. And before I get to my picks, I always give you a list of some of the bigger, newer, noteworthy releases. Uh, it's December, so there's not a lot of those. But hey, just because everybody else is putting out their album of the year list, already doesn't mean I'm not here in the trenches. Bangers got your back. Bangers giving you medals and bangers supporting those brave few that say F you Christmas, F you New Year's. I'm putting out a metal album. Speaking of December 1st, uh, which is in the past. Uh, C C Cobra Spell put out 666 on Napalm and Paradise Lost put out Icon 30 on Nuclear Blast December 8th, which is in the future. Uh, Treyu is releasing The Beautiful Dark of Life on Spine Farm and Dimu Borgir is releasing in Spirito Profanus on Nuclear Blast. December 15th, you've got Cryptworm releasing oozing radioactive vomition on Pulverized. You've got Evergrey releasing From Dark Discoveries to Heartless Portraits on Napalm. All Veldner buddies, uh, pals, our pals are releasing uh, Fiat's Metal on Hellstain Productions. Hopefully they figure out how Bandcamp works uh, before then. Uh, December 22nd, Funeral Vomit is releasing Monumental Putrescence on Extreme just in time for Christmas. And hey, December 29th, Lord of the Lost is releasing Weapons of mass seduction on napalm that's the big ones ish i mean look it's it's december anyways it's december i still found you five great albums do you want to hear what they are up first we've got crust dissolution avant-garde music december 15th <laughs> Crust are Russian dark sludge. We've got the best Crust album cover yet by regular Crust album cover Denny Aktemarov. Um, so if you remember, I featured Crust on this show way back in August 2020. They released another album, and then this is their second release since then. So there's enough time passed. It's also December, so I get to talk about a band I really like on here again, which I try and avoid doing. I try and have it new bands, but you know, just sometimes I'm just jazzed, and Crust always gets me jazzed because they're one of the few bands I've found that's able to make Sludge sound like it's moving forward. It's modern. It's keeping up with the times. Most sludge sounds really stuck in the 2010s to me, sludged in the 2010s to me. Um, but Crust manages to make sludge sound fresh and good. It's, it's, it's mostly because they play black and sludge. And what sounds more modern than black metal? Uh, they've really ratcheted up the black metal on this one too. It's, it's, it's a lot more blackened than any other Crust release. It's almost like Every time they release a new album, the world is in a worse, darker spot than before, and it's being reflected in the black metal. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh. Up next, we've got Hindsides with an album title that I'm throwing in the towel. I'm not even bothering with that one. That's so many letters. What the hell? It's coming out on Shadow Records December 15th. Jesus, I can't say that. Can you? Help me out. So 
this axe from Sweden, and like I said, everybody else has pretty much wrapped up their coverage for the year, so that means those of us are still on the court can play whatever we want, and I'm playing you some raw black metal. I'm sorry, but also you're welcome, because this one's amazing. Uh, yeah, you can tell by the album cover the vibe that's going on here, and when you start a song, you're getting exactly what you expect. It's lo-fi black metal, it's super washed out, uh, but... Ah, the Metal Monthly curveball that comes in is halfway through a track, there's always some like ripping guitar lead that comes out of nowhere that's fairly melodic. It's a big surprise. Uh, equally surprising is the, uh, uh, the plentiful church bell on this. There's church bell all over it, but it is simultaneously both very audible and very buried in the mix, so it just puts a smile on my face every time I see it. This is the kind of black metal that really got me into black metal, but then it's sort of elevated and turned into something special and unique. So uh, this one really, I don't know, it's a Christmas miracle. It really, uh, you know, I, I, I'm running through the streets with no socks on like Ebenezer Scrooge being like, eh, raw, raw black metal's pushing it, Sludge is pushing it, we still out here innovating, baby. Speaking of innovating, if you're looking for an innovative tech solution, try the Banger Patreon page, because if you give us a couple of bucks to help support the channel, I never have to advertise anything to you here. Isn't that nice? I just I just gotta tell you to go click over there. So toss us a couple bucks, we toss you a couple things, you get a tip sheet every month with bonus records to listen to, some extra content, and you know, again, you just keep this space VPN free. Uh, but please use a VPN on the internet. Let's keep on rolling with Walking Corpses, Our Hands, Your Throat on Transcending Obscurity. It came out last Friday, December 1st. Christmas Miracles keep rolling. We got Grind from Sweden. Uh, the album covers by Cus... 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to say it. I like the cover. And if you like the cover, good news. It's a Transcending Obscurity release, which means it's printed on all kinds of stuff. Whatever merch you want, they got. Go get it. Um, I don't know whether uh, I've just been doing this show long enough that I'm getting desensitized, and that's why more Grind's getting in here, or Grind's just in a really healthy place right now. I feel like Grind is doing really good. Uh, uh, and this is another example of how great Grind's doing, because it's really a Grind record that kind of does it all in Grind. Uh, there are your sub two minute quick, fast, stereotypical grind jams on here, but there's also more nuanced, kind of more varied five minute long tracks. Uh, it's it's a, it's a grind record that actually reveals itself to you more on repeated listens rather than that kind of like normal jump out and flash you on the subway grind record vibe. Uh, there is a lot of variety on here in terms of tempos, sounds, weird noises, even the vocal styles are super mixed. There's a, there's a, a low and a high, um, it, it, obviously both harsh still. There's, there's buzz and there's that. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a little variety in your grind record, uh, I really suggest this one. Absolutely love it. Up next, we've got Phobocosm with Four Ordained coming out on Dark Descent Records December 8th. Hey, look at that. We get to celebrate Canada a bit with some death metal from Montreal, Quebec. Uh, we've got a great album cover by Finnish musician and artist Laurie Laksanen. Um, this is a tricky band to describe to someone because it's a uh, it's a doomier band. It's a it's a slower, more drawn out band. You're getting ten plus minute songs on here, um, which makes this sound like a softer affair, like a death metal record that isn't gonna punch quite as hard. But it's very, and you'll have to forgive me a use of the D word. I know it's way overused. I try and spare you as much as I can, but every once in a while, a record comes out that just sounds 
dissonant. Um, it's a very dissonant affair. Uh, it, it's simultaneously like an arty death metal record that's kind of a little more highbrow, which again makes you think, oh, it's going to sound softer. But then it's like more eerie, it's more aggressive, it's like more disconcerting than most like conventional hard in your face death metal. So I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of person uh, is sitting in that weird niche besides uh, me. So this record very much appeals to me, uh, and if you're like me, then the record also appeals to you. And uh, I mean, if you're watching at this point, I assume, or I assume you are, I right? And hey, if you like me, uh, you can get more of me over on twitch.tv slash metal comedy. I research this video uh, live every Sunday, uh, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And hey, December 15th, I'm doing a special stream. We're doing this uh, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm doing a big crazy thing for the holidays where I'm just streaming as long as you'll have me stream for and we're listening to every single Italian heavy metal band. Mamma mia! Come on out. Thus we come to our palette cleanse of the show normally in Metal Monthly, but of course it's December, so there's no good heavy metal this month, so uh, you get more black metal, ring air of momentous endless night, avant-garde music, December 15th. Yes, it's more black metal. It's atmospheric this time. It's split between Philly and Sweden. Damn, a lot of Swedish releases this month. I guess that's what happens when you have a secularized society. Uh who would have thought? Uh, I wish I knew who did this perfect black metal album cover. Oh, it's so great, but I don't know, but I'm just gonna say it's great, and whoever did this, good job on you. Um, uh, so yeah, I know. Two black metal releases again. I'm sorry, but it's not my fault that black metal musicians are unhinged and don't respect calendars. If you are mad that there's so many black metal releases at the end of the year, next end of the year, tell your favorite genres musicians to stop being Christmas cowards and keep releasing records. So, as I said, this is a very different black metal release than the previously discussed black metal release in the episode. It's atmospheric black metal. It's four songs with a 42-minute runtime. It's uh, got weird keyboards. It's totally washed out. It's so relaxing. It's really perfect. Get a mug of something hot, maybe some mulled wine, curl up by the fire beside your non-denominational uh, winter solstice tree, watch the snow fall outside and just uh, let another year of great metal releases wash over you. That's been it. That's been me. What do you get? Album banger end of the year, uh, material of the year content starts after this. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know down in the comments. Is December sneaking out anything that I should be listening to that I didn't talk about? Is there any brave souls out there still putting out great metal besides the ones I've talked about? Uh, let me know. I appreciate you. Thanks for another year of Metal Monthly with me and I'll see you in 2024.